Hey, welcome back. And in this session, we will discuss our first module, Language Construct, Chapter 4. In this chapter, we will discuss advanced feature of C Sharp Deconstruct with Tuples. So the tuple structure was introduced back in C Sharp 7.0, if I'm not wrong. And it's introduced to C Sharp, a feature that had long been available in other programming language like Python. Especially a tuple is very lightweight way of grouping multiple values in a single object and one of the most popular use of tuple is to return multiple values from the function so let's go ahead and open up the deconstruct tuple example and we can understand with the code sample like how it work so now we are here in a pro program.cs file and you can see i already created a one method get values here and this method basically based on the parameter employee id return three output okay and all these are string you, it can be like different like you can pass like a string value is there in teaser and other value float and all but right now in this example i'm showing you the three output like string all three is string okay so what happened here based on the employee id we'll return these three values from a single function okay so here you can see in get values when we are passing our employee id is one is going here and based on the employee id we are returning three response as i mentioned your name gender and location and that all three response hold by the variable result okay and when we're trying to access those value like whatever what value is there in the first out parameter second output or third output we can easily access using like result dot item one item two and item three so this item one basically indicating or representing the first out parameter okay and item two is for second out parameter and this item three is for third out parameter we can see here once we run the application so i just right click here and open a terminal now let's run dot net run command and we'll see what will be the output so based on this employee id one the output should be a bridges a male and india so now you can see here we can see okay so this is the very basic how it works but we can make it more readable and more optimized because here right now what happening here it's very confusing right what is item one what is item two what is item three okay so we can make it more readable and it is easy to understand so we can say instead of returning value into one object we can say okay whatever value we are returning i just created a where and then say first one is a name gender and location so whatever parameters are there for example we have a three parameter because this method return a three value right a string value is there so we can name it uh that is like this is a name this is gender and this is location and when we console it a uh, name gender and location then you can see what will be the output and this time i am sending here as an input parameter is two so return sh value should be divyans male singapore let's run dot net run command one more time and let's see what will be the output okay now you can see here the output is divyash mail and singapore so this is the output how you can get so this is more readable more sensible okay the third scenario is there what if i don't want i don't want the first parameter I'd, or you can say i don't want like last parameter and all right i want a particular value i don't care about what is the first return value is there what is the second return value is there in that particular scenario what is happening here uh, i just commented out here console dot right line to avoid so many consoles here so you can see here once you say i don't i want to ignore you know some parameter i don't care about it so for example i don't care about what is the name value i don't care about what is gender i need only the location of the guy whose employee id is 2 okay so when i say i need only location whose employee id is 2 then this underscore you can see here uh, i'm using underscore comma so underscore basically tell the compiler right okay this is a null we are don't 
we are not you know proceeding with these parameters so just avoid this one or ignore it so compiler basically ignore first parameter and compiler will ignore second parameter and return only third parameter so now you can see here one more time i'll run dot net run command and let's see what will be the output okay now you can see here when it's a get value to employee ID two so you can see here what are the locations so third parameter is singapore so location is singapore that what you will get here so this is the way how you can return one more example you can understand here so for example uh let's say i don't want i don't bother about the first parameter i don't care about the last parameter but i care about the gender okay what are the gender for the guy whose employee id is two okay and when we try to run this one but we run command you can see the first console return location and the second console written only the gender so this is the way how you can play with the values and how you return a multiple value in a group from the tuple so these are the basic understanding is there one more sample example is there what if if we want to return like a list of array or you can say collection and all so i'll just give you a simple example here so in this method get collection I'm trying to return a two parameter you can see here and both parameter is collection is like array okay so you can put logic here any logic is there based on your system okay so I'm trying to here consolidate two variable here you can see the string array and integer array and that what I'm trying to return from get collection method and now I'm trying to access it okay the same as I mentioned before in this screen right we can again call this get method and we are storing in one variable and this variable basically hold you can see here this variable will hold the string collection and integer collection okay and we can access it and i try to console it here and let's see what will be sorry what will be the output here so i'm just try to comment comment out these two to avoid so many consoles okay so here i'm trying to run one more time dot net run command and see what will be the output okay cool so here you can see a written collection item one basically is this one this is a cool feature you can see here item two is returning one two three four five this is the collection so that what we can see and the rest again if you want to ignore first parameter second parameter we follow the same way how we did it for the string value so this is the way how you can play with tuples and this very cool feature a very new feature actually here in shisha okay see you next video until then embrace the joy of learning